today and we're still going north toward Minot, but at least we see something. So close and so far. Those are probably sitting somewhere over Canada. Pretty unlikely we're going to get to those, but hey, possibilities tomorrow in Wisconsin, only 550 miles away. Let's see what Dave's got left in him. All right, ETT4 is blasting east following uh, Andy Gabrielson. 16 miles from the border to see if uh, what's down there south of us might actually do something. It's got a long way to go, but what the heck, we've got nothing else to do. Meanwhile, this storm to our north, sitting probably 40 miles away over Canada, is taking on a classic appearance. Big flat anvil top. Probably got a low base in there. Probably has, well, radar shows two inch hail in it. Quite sure what that is on the back of that, but well, that's a wall cloud, isn't it? Yeah. nice wall cloud off the back there. Again, it's in Canada. So behind us, as we head north toward Canada, is this thing, and then ahead of us is the uh, storm with the wall cloud. So we're going to go hit the border and then... Uh, it looks beautiful on radar too. You know? So uh, about as close as you can get to the border. And I'm watching that storm with a nice wall cloud run away from us. Man, this thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger. God, it looks like a nuclear explosion now. Can we blow the windows out just in case? We're glad we stayed north. This baby has just exploded in the last 10-15 uh, minutes. We're still going east now, just south of the Canadian border. And uh, east of uh, Minot still, probably a good 20-30 miles east. Got uh, mamadas on the bottom there. You can see kind of those undulating uh, parts of the underside of the cloud. And keep watching that storm in Canada to our north. I think it's, the problem is it's in my resolution of my camera. on the storm, but there's a nice big rain curtain there on the back side, and then it's actually pretty low there. He's got two storms that are kind of messing with each other. Four now. Oh, four storms? Oh, great. Yeah, two storms kind of... And now it's kind of... Yeah, well, I mean, we had, we had two supercells go off, and they kind of lined up, but... The third one kind of formed too, but... Yeah, that's, but now it's kind of like, maybe we're trying to break maybe one yeah. off here? Yeah. Maybe... Yeah. maybe yeah, so we had that... It's going kind of, nuts right above us. Kind of yeah. Here, now it's kind of... Uh, not so good. But... There's some movement, but it's not, uh... Look at the scud going on. Holder, look at the scud going on. Holder, look. Oh, wow. Jesus. Wow. Boy, can you imagine if it dropped something right here for us? Yeah, I know. Wow. What an updraft. Wants to do something bad yeah, right there. Right yep. <laughs> the 
may drop something right there to our north. Oh. <laughs> it's great lighting for us. Come on, drop off a little something right here. You teased us yesterday. Oh, it, it is dropping. You owe us something. A little funnel right there? Yeah, it could be. Right there on the left hand side? Yeah. Yeah, there's RFD coming in. That's a funnel right there, overlook. Yeah. Where? Right here. Right here. Right, right there on the... the yeah, you see it kind of coming down a bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just got asked how... Uh, um, Bob. Right. <laughs> so we're going to hail. Yeah. All right, here we're going to get flat. All right, we got hail again. From the sound of it, got... You know, I've got a camera that does that. It is so. Days in in uh, Devil's Lake and 